Where are we going, Finn? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very misty, murky, humid Lake District. I am just parked up in Grasmere, or Grasmere as the locals call it, and we're just heading up to a place called Stone Arthur just up here. It's not a long walk, um, it's quite popular with a lot of the tourists that come and visit the village because it is quite a short walk. Um, and then we're going to go on beyond that, we're going to go up to Fairfield. Not the horseshoe today, but we're going to go on to see Fairfield anyway. About 12k, um, about seven and a half miles, something like that. So not too far, not too strenuous, but enough. And hopefully, if all this clag lifts, which I think it should do, because it's only early at the moment, it's only 20 past six, uh, it should all burn off. Hopefully we'll get some good views uh, looking across. Grasmere, and then as we get further up onto Fairfield, we're a bit looking to those coves uh, and across to Striding Edge as well. Hopefully, that'd be great, be fantastic to get some, you know, views of people going across the edge. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push on now to Stone Arthur and hope and pray that all this lifts, burns off, blows away, or whatever, and then we can get some nice views. It's quite nice though, isn't it? The tree in the mist. I don't know if you can see it on here. But um, yeah, before I go, Greenhead Gill, which I think is on the other side of this hill actually, this is a little beck running into it. How nice is that? Down by the road there, just coming up that road from Grasmer. Uh, it's a beautiful little stretch of road, little lane, little country lane with the, uh, the gill running up by the side of it. Absolutely stunning. Um, so, you know, even if you can't be bothered to come and do this bit, just at least go and have a look at that because that is nice. Anyway, I'm waffling again. Nice tree. Nice beck. Let's go to Stone Arthur and check it out. I just had to get my camera out because... It just got really quite interesting just over here. So you can see it's all starting to clear out now. And uh, looking back towards Rydal, it's looking really quite special. That's the problem because I'm heading, I'm walking up that way. So I just need to keep checking behind me because it's literally every second it changes. I mean, you can see it's starting to change over there a little bit as well now. So anyway, I'm going to keep on going up to Stone Arthur. I've got some. I've got a good feeling about this. I think we could end up getting some really nice views at the top of there, which, you know, you guys can enjoy and um, hopefully inspire you to, to get up here as well. So let's keep going. All right, just approaching the summit of, um, summit, <laughs> approaching Stone Arthur. It's not really much of a summit. Um, but you can just, you probably can't see it now because it is starting to clag in again. You can just make out Alcock Tarn there, um, which is a nice spot to go to as well, actually, on the other side of Greenhead Gill. Stone Arthur cleared for a very, very brief spell, but it seems to have dropped back down onto the top of it. Um, so anyway, we'll keep going up and uh, hope for the best. Hope that it clears again when we're on the on Stone Arthur itself. Here we are on Stone Arthur. There's not really much to it, I must admit. It's, uh, you know, down from the village, it looks really prominent as you're looking up towards uh, Great Rig. But um, when you get it, it's just a pile of rocks, really. In fact, there's not really much prominence in term of, terms of topology either I mean it's a handful of meters maybe really not much to it at all but I guess what it has got is that view yeah I'm 
about that. <laughs> I was really hoping that this bit would be the bit where we'd get some pretty striking views. But it does kind of feel like it's lightening a little bit. You know, when you're in Clag, you can kind of sense that the sky is just there. Um, the top of the Clag is just, just above your head. It does feel like that. I might give it a few minutes and wait and then um, see how we get on and then just head up to uh, Great Rig. Right, I don't think it's gonna clear. I've stood here for about 10 minutes now and even though it's quite humid and warm today, you get cold, you know, with a bit of, that bit of wind. So I think I'm just gonna orientate myself and get myself up Great Rig um, up onto the western flank of the um, Fairfield Horseshoe. Hey Hurdy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, what a poser. <laughs> now, I've said it before in previous vlogs that I absolutely love stuff that looms. <laughs> kind of really eerie looking rocks. All right, just got up onto Great Rig. Great Rig sits on the western ridge of the Fairfield Horseshoe, just north of Heron Pike, which is kind of back that way. And Fairfield is uh, north that way. About 766 meters here. Uh, this is Great Rig Man. Kind of sounds like trucker speak for, you know, hey, great rig man. <laughs> this is it. And ordinarily, a fantastic view down there into the valley towards Ambleside. Um, but not at the moment. I'm really hoping it's going to go. Uh, so it's not far now to the Fairfield Summit, Summit Plateau. Um, kind of a gentle slope up. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer and just hope and pray to the gods that this clag goes because i want you to see the views um it might be hours and it might not clear at all but i'm gonna wait and see that's a very sorry looking dog <laughs> what's the matter Finn? okay just drop down off great rig there a little bit Get a bit of shelter because it's quite windy and it keeps raining. I waited there an hour and it hasn't changed so it kind of looked like it was gonna for a while. I could see the sun through the mist a little bit but it's not gonna happen so I'm gonna push on now to Fairfield. You're just gonna have to imagine those views. <laughs> might not be making for very good vlog footage but it sure is atmospheric I mean look at this just dropping down into the abyss so after about a 10 or 15 minute stroll from Great Rig you get onto the summit plateau of Fairfield so if you are doing the the horseshoe you really do need to know your nav skills I mean, you can use an app, and I'm using an app today, and I'll use that to get off towards Corfa Pike. Um, but I have got my map and my compass in my bag as well, just in case. Because, you know, these apps, they do fail, the phones fail, the batteries fail. Um, if it's raining, the screen doesn't work. 
so you, you shouldn't rely on those things they're handy in you know certain conditions at certain times but uh, like i say bring a map and compass and know how to use them as well that's critical so yeah i'm gonna probably use my app now just to get me off the top here and then uh, like i say find somewhere it's out of this wind so i don't think these shelters are going to work and then just wait A while since I come off Fairfield uh, on this side actually and I forgot that really you want to come down stick into the left hand side path as much as possible if you can um, otherwise you come down this which doesn't look too bad but actually is a big drop so if you fall you're gonna fall a long way and Finn started sliding in the scree so she almost <laughs> almost slid all the way down the bottom that was kind of a dodgy moment there Probably a low point for Finn, I reckon that today. Probably a little bit embarrassing. There it is. That's Kofa Pike. Looming. And some herdies on the path. To give it some scale. It does look awesome. Especially in these conditions. Very alien-esque. Let's go up on top. Oink. Wet today, it's quite the rocks are quite greasy. Be careful. It does feel like it's getting a bit brighter, you know. I keep saying that. I keep kind of getting my hopes up that it's gonna clear and I'll be able to get some views, but it just keeps clagging in again. Isn't it, Finn? In terms of views from here, it's pretty much the same as what you get at Fairfield. Normally, you'd be able to see Grisdale Tarn down there, uh, Dolly Wagon Pike near the most, Helvellyn, you'd be able to see Striding Edge, all those bits and pieces. And obviously Fairfield going that way, St. Sunday, pretty much right in front of us. But, but this is a nice little ridge, you know. Don't hear many people talking about this or, you know, going up here, but it's, it's good. Definitely worth doing. I mean, look at the landscape. It's like being on a different planet. I need to be careful here. It is quite greasy today. Path kind of threads through this boulder field here and eventually drops down to Deepdale Hawes where I'm going to hang a left, head down to Grisdale Tarn. You know, there is some light down in Deepdale. It is really trying. Oh, and look at this. Perfect timing. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is what we've been waiting for. That's Grisdale down there. And you can just make out a bit of striding edge. And this is Deepdale Halls that's starting to appear. Probably going to see St. Sunday actually at this rate. Well, this just proves it. It's a beautiful day everywhere else. <laughs> Look at it, it's blue sky over there. Over towards Penrith, it's a gorgeous day. In fact, all the way around, everywhere else in the lakes is a gorgeous day. It's just been rubbish where I've been. <laughs> and it's clagged in again. That was it. That was the show. Show's over. Go on. <laughs> oh, some good herdy action here. You know. Finn, come here. I'm gonna get my camera out because I think I could get some good shots here. I'll see you in a minute.
That is gorgeous. You can just make out a little bit of um, striding edge then. There's all the water down there. And that is Grisdale Tarn. So that's good. It looks like Grisdale Tarn is below the, um, the cloud base. That's nice. Dolly wagon through the clouds there. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to get my camera out, you know. Jeepers. Let's just put you guys there in a minute. I think I might have missed it now. Too slow. Too slow. I'm going to stay here for a bit, you know, because it's looking amazing over there towards Striding Edge and Nethermost Cove, Dolly Wagon. So I'm going to see if I can get some shots off and then bomb it down to the tan. One of those beautiful little terrace here. It's, it's a really nice path, actually. It cuts across the side of the hill. Um, no one around. So anyway, I'll see you down there. down to the Sea of Grisdale. Look at it. It's like the North Sea. At least imagine the Viking longboats coming through the mist. <laughs> Let's get across these easier stepping stones. Oops. About falling on my ass, which is very <laughs> likely. Well done, Finn. It shows how it's done. So the path you want above the tarn on the north shore, kind of marked by this rock here and also this little stream here. Now this might not be running because it might be the middle of summer, <laughs> like it is now. Um, but this should help you identify where the path is. Runs off there, look. Yeah, it's not the most obvious path down here. It's, uh, it's just flattened down grass, really. <laughs> But it is marked on the, on the OS map as a public right of way. There is a lower path right by the shore there. I'll tell you what, I've seen four people today. Four. I mean, that's incredible. Four people on a summer's day in the Lake District. So yeah, it's a bit of a trudge round, but on a nice day, it is lovely, you know, you've obviously got the views and you've got Fairfield over that way. Quite a cool legend about Grisdale Tarn, actually. It's uh, that King Dunmail, King of Cumberland, who was killed over in the valley on the other side there. Basically where Dunmail raises, it's named after him. And it's a big pile of stones, that's where he was supposedly laid to rest there after being killed in battle. But um, his men, who escaped, apparently, they uh, threw his crown in the, in the tarn here. And the legend has it that they return each year and they return to where he's, he's buried there and shout down to him, you know, is it time to go and get your crown this year? And he always says, not yet, or something like that. <laughs> so one day he will rise from the grave and come and claim his crown from Grisdale Tarn. It is a magical place, that's for sure. When the clouds are going across it before, it, it just felt quite mystical, you know. I reckon Fairfield will be, will be clear now, now that I'm down. <laughs> it's all clearing out, and the darkest place is Seat Sandal, where I'm going. Seriously. It's a bit of a slog this bit, actually. It's uh, not that enjoyable, you just walk up the grass. Um, but you know head down get to the top uh enjoy the lack of views and then go home <laughs> okay here i am at the summit of seat sandal not that you can tell <laughs> it looked like it was going to clear it became really sunny actually that's why i got my sunglasses and i'll take them off now um but it's just gone really thick again now and this is the summit here look and then the route down is over the wall along that way in a westerly direction but what i'm going to do 
is I'm going to go and get something to eat. But I'm going to go and find somewhere semi-sheltered if I can. It's quite windy up here. And then uh, have a bite to eat and wait. Because damn it, I want to see something. Okay. I've made an executive decision. I'm not going to sit up here in the clag hiding from the wind eating my sandwiches. I want to go and sit in some sunshine. So that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to drop off the top of Seat Sandal now. Kind of giving up on the views. I just don't think it's going to happen. But um, if I drop down below the cloud base, I should start to get some nice views out towards Grasmere and what have you then. And then, uh, as soon as I say that, it starts to get light. But I'm going to ignore it because it's lying to me. It's not coming out. Or is it? <laughs> I think you'll agree this is a much better spot than sitting up there in the cloud just make out a bit of thermia there and the skidder in the background absolutely gorgeous around the corner here steel fell but i think it's time for breakfast <laughs> not eating yet i don't uh, i don't tend to eat before i go for a walk i like to you know seize the opportunity to burn a bit of fat so it's um half 12 now a bit hungry and i know this one is aren't you eh you good dog so you're gonna have your little bowl of flesh there you go eat your meat that's looking really nice i might get my camera out you know and just kind of rattle off a few shots while i'm sat here eating my butties <laughs> some nice light just little patches and i'll tell you what as i was approaching this spot before you've eaten that already my god you got a problem <laughs> i'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this i'm not gonna rush off i'm trying to enjoy this little bit of solitude and then um Head back down off Seat Sandal towards Grassmere. Yeah, we have all seen a bit. Okay, I've dropped down quite a long way now, and um, it's looking really nice. <laughs> I mean, it's looking really nice in Grassmere, isn't it? Got lots of little little patches of sunlight and what have you, and it's so green at the moment. But uh, you can see Great Tongue, a little spur that comes out uh, coming down here now by the beck. We're going to go down and cross at the, the very end of that, cross the beck there onto the other path that takes you back up to Grice Hill Town. Well, I'm going to go up to Grice Hill Town because that's where we've just been. We're going to mosey on through uh, to where I'm parked up, just outside of Grasmere. Look at these guys here. Oh, gorgeous. I'm going to get a shot of that and then I'm going to walk down that to there and I'm going to update again when I'm a bit further down. I'll see you in a minute. I've made my second executive decision today. This is getting out of control. But uh, rather than going all the way down here and back up the path along the gill there and up onto that path and then into, into Grasmere, I can't be bothered. I, I just decided I'm just going to walk down to the road and bomb it a long way because it's not far along the road there then. Um, there's not much more to talk about and show really. We've kind of seen everything or not seen everything as the case may be. Um, so I think I might as well wrap it up, you know. Uh, it's, it's been a bit of a disappointing one, really. I'm disappointed for you guys that, you know, you've, you've not seen uh, the views that you get from the top of there, which are absolutely outstanding. 
So it, it feels to me like a bit of a waste of time doing it, but I hope it hasn't been a waste of time for you. I hope you've enjoyed the route. I hope you're going to go and do the route and hope you've enjoyed the photographs and what have you and me blithering on about the garbage. Um, but, you know, if you have enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And like I said in the last vlog, you know, if you, if you want to support me and support the channel and, and help me put fuel in my car to be able to come out and do this sort of stuff, you know, just get over to my site. It's uh, blackcrag.uk. Just go and buy, buy a photograph, you know. Don't buy me a photograph. <laughs> buy yourself a photograph. Um, it, it, it's just going to help support me do this. It's going to put boots on my feet, like I said last time, and, and kind of keep up with the gear. Because things wear out, you know. And I'm not making millions from this. I'm making very little money, but it just, it all goes back into to doing this. So it's, it does help. It really does. So I shall leave it there, really. Uh, I'm going to go to the pub. Take Finn to the pub, and uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Hope you've enjoyed it. See ya. Just approaching Great Rig, which is on the left ridge. Uh, left ridge. <laughs> and then. Whatever, I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Are you still watching? <laughs> yeah! Oh dearie me. I think I might cut that bit out.